Campania Italian pronunciation, Campa Nja, is a region in southern Italy. As of 2018, the region has a population of around 5,820,000 people, making it the third most populous region of Italy. Its total area of 13,590 square kilometers, 5,247 square miles, makes it the most densely populated region in the country. Located on the Italian peninsula, with the Mediterranean Sea to the west, it includes the small Phlegraean Islands and Capri for administration as part of the region. Campania was colonized by ancient Greeks and was part of Magna Graecia. During the Roman era, the area maintained a Greco-Roman culture. The capital city of Campania is Naples. Campania is rich in culture, especially in regard to gastronomy, music, architecture, archaeological and ancient sites such as Pompeii, Herculaneum, Oplantis, Pestum, Aclanum, Stabiae and Velia. The name of Campania itself is derived from Latin, as the Romans knew the region as Campania Felix, which translates into English as, "...fertile countryside." The rich natural sites of Campania make it highly important in the tourism industry, especially along the Amalfi Coast, Mount Vesuvius and the island of Capri. History <laughs> Ancient tribes and Samnite wars The original inhabitants of Campania were three defined groups of the ancient peoples of Italy, who all spoke the Oscan language, which is part of the Italic family. Their names were the Osci, the Orunci, and the Ausones. During the 8th century BC, people from Euboea in Greece, known as Cumians, began to establish colonies in the area roughly around the modern day province of Naples. Another Oscan tribe, the Samnites, moved down from central Italy into Campania. Since the Samnites were more warlike than the Campanians, they easily took over the cities of Capua and Cumi, in an area which was one of the most prosperous and fertile in the Italian peninsula at the time. During the 340s BC, the Samnites were engaged in a war with the Roman Republic in a dispute known as the Samnite Wars, with the Romans securing rich pastures of northern Campania during the First Samnite War. The major remaining independent Greek settlement was Neapolis, and when the town was eventually captured by the Samnites, the Neapolitans were left with no other option than to call on the Romans, with whom they established an alliance, setting off the Second Samnite War. The Roman consul Quintus Publilius Philo recaptured Neapolis by 326 BC and allowed it to remain a Greek city with some autonomy as a civitas foderata while strongly aligned with Rome. The Second Samnite War ended with the Romans controlling southern Campania and additional regions further to the south. <laughs> Roman period Campania was a full-fledged part of the Roman Republic by the end of the 4th century BC, valued for its pastures and rich countryside. Its Greek language and customs made it a center of Hellenistic civilization, creating the first traces of Greco-Roman culture. During the Pyrrhic War the battle took place in Campania at Maleventum in which the Romans, led by consul Curius Dentatus, were victorious. They renamed the city Beneventum modern-day Benevento, which grew in stature until it was second only to Capua in southern Italy. During the Second Punic War in 216 BC, Capua, in a bid for equality with Rome, allied with Carthage. The rebellious Capuans were isolated from the rest of Campania, which remained allies of Rome. Naples resisted Hannibal due to the imposing walls. Capua was eventually starved into submission in the Roman retaking of 211 BC, and the Romans were victorious. The rest of Campania, with the exception of Naples, adopted the Latin language as official and was Romanized. As part of the Roman Empire, Campania, with Latium, formed the most important region of the Augustan divisions of Italia. Campania was one of the main areas for granary. In ancient times, Misenum modern Miseno, at the extreme northern end of the Bay of Naples, was the largest base of the Roman navy, since its port Portus Julius was the base of the Classis Misenensis, the most important Roman fleet. It was first established as a naval base in 27 BC by Marcus Agrippa, the right hand man of the Emperor Augustus. Roman emperors chose Campania as a holiday destination, among them Claudius and Tiberius, the latter of whom is infamously linked to the island of Capri. It was also during this period that Christianity came to Campania. Two of the apostles, St. Peter and St. Paul, are said to have preached in the city of Naples, and there were also several martyrs during this time. 
Unfortunately, the period of relative calm was violently interrupted by the epic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 which buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. With the decline of the Roman Empire, its last emperor, Romulus Augustus, was put in a manor house prison near Castel Delovo, Naples, in 476, ushering in the beginning of the Middle Ages and a period of uncertainty in regard to the future of the area. Topic. Feudalism in the Middle Ages The area had many duchies and principalities during the Middle Ages, in the hands of the Byzantine Empire and the Lombards. Under the Normans, the smaller independent states were brought together as part of the Kingdom of Sicily, before the mainland broke away to form the Kingdom of Naples. It was during this period that elements of Spanish, French and Aragonese culture were introduced to Campania. The Kingdom Norman to Angevin After a period as a Norman kingdom, the Kingdom of Sicily passed to the Hohenstaufens, who were a powerful Germanic royal house of Swabian origins. The University of Naples Federico II was founded by Frederick II in the city, the oldest state university in the world, making Naples the intellectual center of the kingdom. Conflict between the Hohenstaufen House and the Papacy, led in 1266 to Pope Innocent IV crowning Angevin dynasty Duke Charles I as the king. Charles officially moved the capital from Palermo to Naples where he resided at the Castel Nuovo. During this period, much Gothic architecture sprang up around Naples, including the Naples Cathedral, the main church of the city. In 1281, with the advent of the Sicilian Vespers, the kingdom split in half. The Angevin Kingdom of Naples included the southern part of the Italian peninsula, while the island of Sicily became the Aragonese Kingdom of Sicily. The wars continued until the Peace of Caltabalata in 1302, which saw Frederick III recognized as King of the Isle of Sicily, while Charles II was recognized as the King of Naples by Pope Boniface VIII. Despite the split, Naples grew in importance, attracting Pisan and Genoese merchants, Tuscan bankers, and with them some of the most championed Renaissance artists of the time, such as Boccaccio, Petrarch and Giotto. Alfonso I conquered Naples after his victory against the last Angevin king, René, and Naples was unified for a brief period with Sicily again. <laughs> Aragonese to Bourbon Sicily and Naples were separated in 1458 but remained as dependencies of Aragon under Ferranti. The new dynasty enhanced Naples' commerce by establishing relations with the Iberian Peninsula. Naples also became a center of the Renaissance, with artists such as Lorana, da Messina, Sanazzaro and Poliziano arriving in the city. During 1501 Naples came under direct rule from France at the time of Louis XII, as Neapolitan King Frederick was taken as a prisoner to France, this lasted four years. Spain won Naples at the Battle of Garigliano and, as a result, Naples then became part of the Spanish Empire throughout the entire Habsburg-Spain period. The Spanish sent viceroys to Naples to directly deal with local issues, the most important of which was Pedro Álvarez de Toledo, who was responsible for considerable social, economic and urban progress in the city. He also supported the Inquisition. During this period Naples became Europe's second largest city after Paris. During the Baroque era it was home to artists including Caravaggio, Rosa and Bernini, philosophers such as Telesio, Bruno, Campanella and Vico, and writers such as Battista Marino. A revolution led by local fisherman Masaniello saw the creation of a brief independent Neapolitan Republic, though this lasted only a few months before Spanish rule was regained. Finally, by 1714, the Spanish ceased to rule Naples as a result of the War of the Spanish Succession, it was the Austrian Charles VI who ruled from Vienna, similarly, with viceroys. However, the War of the Polish Succession saw the Spanish regain Sicily and Naples as part of a personal union, which in the Treaty of Vienna were recognized as independent under a cadet branch of the Spanish Bourbons in 1738 under Charles VII. During the time of Ferdinand IV, the French Revolution made its way to Naples. Horatio Nelson, an ally of the Bourbons, even arrived in the city in 1798 to warn against it. However, Ferdinand was forced to retreat and fled to Palermo, where he was protected by a British fleet. Naples' lower classes the Lazzaroni were pious and royalist, favoring the Bourbons. In the melee that followed, they fought the Neapolitan pro-Republican aristocracy, causing a civil war. 
The Republicans conquered Castel Santelmo and proclaimed a Parthenopean Republic, secured by the French army. A counter revolutionary religious army of Lazzaroni under Fabrizio Ruffo was raised, they had great success, and the French surrendered the Neapolitan castles and were allowed to sail back to Toulon. Ferdinand IV was restored as king, however, after only seven years, Napoleon conquered the kingdom and instated Bonapartist kings, including his brother Joseph Bonaparte. With the help of the Austrian Empire and allies, the Bonapartists were defeated in the Neapolitan War, and Bourbon Ferdinand IV once again regained the throne and the kingdom. The Congress of Vienna in 1815 saw the kingdoms of Naples and Sicily combined to form the two Sicilies, with Naples as the capital city. Naples became the first city on the Italian peninsula to have a railway in 1839. There were many factories throughout the kingdom making it a highly important trade center. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II, Salerno capital. In September 1943, Salerno was the scene of the Operation Avalanche and suffered a great deal of damage. From February 12 to July 17, 1944, it hosted the government of Marshal Pietro Badoglio. In those months Salerno was the temporary capital of the Kingdom of Italy, and the King Victor Emmanuel III lived in a mansion in its outskirts. Salerno received the first tricolore. In an official ceremony on 7 January 2012 from the Premier Mario Monti, to celebrate the glorious story of Italy and its old capitals. Geography <inaudible> 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 Campania has an area of 13,590 square kilometers, 5,247 square miles, and a coastline of 350 kilometers, 217 miles on the Tyrrhenian Sea. Campania is famous for its gulfs, Naples, Salerno and Policastro, as well as for three islands, Capri, Ischia and Procida. Four other regions border Campania, Lazio to the northwest, Molise to the north, Apulia Puglia to the northeast and Basilicata to the east. The mountainous interior is fragmented into several massifs, rarely reaching 2,000 meters, Mileto of 2,050 meters, whereas close to the coast there are volcanic massifs, Vesuvio 1,277 meters and Campi Flegrei. The climate is typically Mediterranean along the coast, whereas in the inner zones it is more continental, with low temperatures in winter. 51% of the total area is hilly, 34% mountainous and the remaining 15% is made up of plains. There is a high seismic risk in the area of the region. Economy <inaudible> 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 The agro-food industry is one of the main pillars of industry of Campania. The organization of the sector is improving and leading to higher levels of quality and salaries. Campania mainly produces fruit and vegetables, but has also expanded its production of flowers grown in greenhouses, becoming one of the leading regions of the sector in Italy. The value added of this sector represents around 6.5% of the total value added of the region, equaling 213.7 million euros. Campania produces over 50% of Italy's nuts and is also the leader in the production of tomatoes, which reaches 1.5 million tons a year. A weak point, however, for the region's agriculture is the very reduced size of farms, equal to 3.53 hectares. Animal breeding is widespread it was done in 70,278 farms in 2000 and the milk produced is used to process typical products, such as mozzarella. Olive trees, mainly of the varieties Carpelles PDO designated, Cornea Val di Cornea doc, Frantoio, Lacino, Oleorola Baris, Olivella, Ortis, Pisciotana also Oleostrina or Olivo Delicia, Rivetza also known as Rotondello, and Salella, covers over 74,604 hectares 184,350 acres of the agricultural land, together with the production of fruit, contributing 620.6 .6 million euros to the economy. Wine production has increased as well as the quality of the wine. The region has a dense network of road and motorways, a system of maritime connections and an airport, Naples Airport, which connect it rapidly to the rest of the country. Campania has a series of historical problems and internal contrasts, although they are improving. The regional capital, Naples, one of the most populated and interesting cities in Italy, rich in history and natural beauty, both artistic and archaeological, still represents the center of regional life. 
The port connects the region with the whole Mediterranean basin, and brings tourists to the archaeological sites, the cities of Art Naples and Caserta, to the beautiful coastal areas and to the islands. The services sector makes up for 78% of the region's gross domestic product. The GDP pro capita of Campania is the highest among the regions of South Italy, yet it is only 66.7% of the Italian average, which highlights the steep economic gap between the north and the south of Italy. The situation of Campania's economy is considered anomalous, as it is believed to have a large potential not properly exploited, as well as high rates of unemployment and of submerged economy. It was speculated that one factor could have been a failure of Campania to connect with the economy of the unitary Italian state, while another factor is its peripheral position too distant from the developed central areas of Europe. Heavy industry used to be concentrated in the Naples metropolitan area, in which the largest industrial area was Bagnali, a suburb located north of the city. Bagnali enjoyed a favorable logistic position due its proximity to the sea and to an industrial harbour, and included steel factories that were among the largest in Europe. The steel factories operated since 1905 for about 80 years, but by the end of the 60s, all industries of Bagnali area gradually started to lose competitiveness, and the steel factories were definitively closed in 1991. At the beginning of the 70s, plans for the de-industrialization of the area were presented, as it was perceived that the causes of competitiveness loss were impossible to remove. In 1970 the city council decided that 30% of space of the industrial should be dismantled and turned into public parks. In 1976, a definitive report concluded that the lack of competitiveness was due to impossibility to expand the facilities because of lack of space. The metropolitan area of Naples is limited by two dangerous areas, the Mount Vesuvius on the south, and supervolcano Campi Flegre on the north, leaving little space in proximity of the sea. Some factors may contribute in keeping the economy less competitive or less flexible compared to northern Italian and European regions, among them, a larger public administration sector which accounted for 20.4% of the whole economy in 2013, while in Italy the figure is 13.6 suggesting a too large number of public employees or white collars. The number of lawyers is 5.7 every 1,000, by comparison in northern region Trentino Alto Adige the number is 1.7. Because of a less developed economy, Campania may have suffered less the negative effects of recent economic cycles. Sea based activity accounts about 3.9% of the economy, that includes port movements of goods and passengers and sea transportation, as well as a sizable seaside tourism economy. There is a massive automotive industrial production, focused on high quality models of brands Alfa Romeo, in facilities located in Pomigliano di Arco in the Naples metropolitan area and in Casino. There is also a significant aerospace industry. A Mars mission named ExoMars in 2016 had a major part of its technology designed in Naples. The unemployment rate stood at 20.9% in 2017 and was one of the highest in Italy. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. The region with a population of over 5.8 million inhabitants is divided into 5 provinces: Naples, Benevento, Avellino, Caserta and Salerno. Over half of the population is resident in the province of Naples, where there is a population density of 2626 inhabitants per square kilometer. Within the province, the highest density can be found along the coast, where it reaches 13,000 inhabitants per square kilometer in the city of Portici. The region, which was characterized until recently by an acute economic contrast between internal and coastal areas, has shown an improvement in the last decade thanks to the development of the provinces of Benevento and Avellino. At the same time, the provinces of Naples, Caserta and in part Salerno, have developed a variety of activities connected to advanced types of services. Unlike central and northern Italy, in the last decade the region of Campania has not attracted large numbers of immigrants. The Italian National Institute of Statistics ISTAT estimated in January 2007 that 98,052 foreign-born immigrants live in Campania, equal to 1.7% of the total regional population. Part of the reason for this is in recent times, there have been more employment opportunities in northern regions than in the southern Italian regions. Government and politics 
The politics of Campania, takes place in a framework of a presidential representative democracy, whereby the president of regional government is the head of government, and of a pluriform multi-party system. Executive power is exercised by the regional government. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the regional council. The Regional Council of Campania della Campania is composed of 60 members, of which 47 are elected in provincial constituencies with proportional representation, 12 from the so-called regional list of the elected president and the last one is for the candidate for president who comes second, who usually becomes the leader of the opposition in the council. If a coalition wins more than 55% of the vote, only six candidates from the regional list will be elected and the number of those elected in provincial constituencies will be 53. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Administrative divisions. Campania is divided into 4 provinces and 1 metropolitan city. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Culture. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cuisine. Campanian cuisine varies within the region. While Neapolitan dishes center on seafood, Caserton and Aversin ones rely more on fresh vegetables and cheeses. The cuisine from Sorrento combines the culinary traditions from both Naples and Salerno. Pizza was conceived in Naples. Spaghetti is also a well-known dish from southern Italy and Campania. Campania produces wines including Lacrima Christi, Fiano, Aglianico, Greco di Tufo, Per e Paloma, Escitano, Taberno, Solopaca, and Tarassi. The cheeses of Campania consist of mozzarella di bufala, buffalo mozzarella, mozzarella made from buffalo milk, fiordilatte, flour of milk, a mozzarella made from cow's milk, ricotta from sheep or buffalo milk, provolone from cow milk, and cacciota made from goat milk. Buffalo are bred in Salerno and Caserta. Several different cakes and pies are made in Campania. Pastira pie is made during Easter. Casatello and Tortano are Easter bread cakes made by adding lard or oil and various types of cheese to bread dough and garnishing it with slices of salami. Baba cake is a well-known Neapolitan delicacy, best served with rum or limoncello a liqueur invented in the Sorrento Peninsula. It is an old Austrian cake, which arrived in Campania during the Austrian domination of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies and was modified there to become a walking cake for citizens always in a hurry for work and other pursuits. Schfoyadella is another cake from the Amalfi Coast, as is Zeppoli, traditionally eaten on St. Joseph's Day. Strufoli, little balls fried dough dipped in honey, are enjoyed during the Christmas holidays. Another Campanian dish is the so-called Russian salad which is based on similar dishes from France, made of potatoes in mayonnaise garnished with shrimp and vegetables in vinegar. Russians call this same dish Olivier salad, and Germans call it Italian salad. Another French-derived dish is gâteau, or gâteau de patate, oven-baked pie made of boiled potatoes. As with the Russian salad, Campania is home to popular seafood-based dishes, such as Ensalada di mare, seafood salad, zuppa di palpo, octopus soup, and zuppa di cos, mussel soup. Other regional seafood dishes include frittel di mare, fritters with seaweed, made with edible Poseidonia algae, trilli al cartoccio, red mullet in the bag, and alisi marinate, fresh anchovies in olive oil. The island of Ischia is famous for its fish dishes, as well as for cooked rabbit. Campania is also home to the lemons of Sorrento. Rapini or broccoli rabe, known locally as friarelli, are often used in the regional cooking. Campania also produces many nuts, especially in the area of Avellino, Salerno and Benevento. Hazelnut production is especially relevant in the province of Avellino. In Spanish, in Portuguese and in Occitan the hazelnut is respectively called Avellana, Avela and Avellano, after the city of Avella. That is also the case of ancient Italian Avellana, which is however not in use anymore. Topic. Ancient, medieval, and early arts The region of Campania is rich with a vast array of culture and history. Since the Greek colony of Elia, now Velia, Campania was home to philosophers of the pre-Socratic philosophy school, such as Parmenides and Zeno of Elia, who came to prominence around 490–480 BC. 
The Latin poet Virgil 70 BC to 19 BC settled in Naples in his late life. Parts of his epic poem Aeneid are located in Campania. The ancient scientist Pliny the Elder studied Mount Vesuvius, and died after being poisoned and killed by gas emitted from the volcano during the 79 AD eruption. Romulus Augustus, the last emperor of the Western Roman Empire, died as a prisoner of the German general Odoacer at Naples around 500. In the Middle Ages, the artist Giotto made some frescoes in Castel Nuovo. These works of art were subsequently destroyed by an earthquake. By the end of the Middle Ages, the medical school of Salerno, which combined ancient Roman and Greek medicine with Arab medicine, was known throughout Europe and its methods were adopted across the continent. Some have suggested that this may have been one of the first universities in Europe. Boccaccio, the Tuscan poet, visited Naples on various occasions, and in the Decameron described it as a dissolute city. He also wrote a love story involving a noble woman close to the king of Naples. In 1570, the Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes, who wrote the romance novel Don Quixote, served as a Spanish soldier for a period in Naples. Poet Torquato Tasso was born in Sorrento in 1575. Years earlier in 1558, the first modern description and studies of the Camera Obscura Dark Chamber were established in Italy by Giovanni Battista della Porta in his Magia Naturalis. Philosopher Giordano Bruno was born in Nola. He was the first to theorize infinite suns and infinite worlds in the universe. He was burned in Rome by the Spanish Inquisition in 1600. Later, in c. 1606, the Baroque painter Caravaggio established his studio in Naples. Italian Baroque architect Cosimo Fanzago from Bergamo also decided to move to Naples. In the 18th century, Naples was the last city to be visited by philosophers who created the Grand Tour, which was the big touring voyage to visit all the important cultural sites of the European continent. Italian architect Luigi Van Vitelli, son of Dutch architect Caspar van Wittel, built the Kingdom Palace in Caserta in c. 1750. He contributed to the construction of many neoclassic style palaces in which the nobles of Naples spent their holidays. These palaces are now known worldwide as Ville Vesuvian. Raimondo di Sangro, Prince of Sansevero, was a scientist and one of the last alchemists. Around this time, in 1786, German writer Goethe visited Campania and Naples. German archaeologist Johann Joachim Winkelmann also visited Naples, Pestum, Herculaneum and Pompeii in 1748 and later, studying how archaeological surveys were conducted in the Kingdom of Naples. He was one of the first to study drawings, statues, stones, and ancient burned scrolls made of papyrus found in the excavations of the city of Herculaneum. Archaeological excavations in Pompeii were initiated by King Charles III of Naples in 1748. He issued the first modern laws in Europe to protect, defend and preserve archaeological sites. Neapolitan musicians of that period include Niccolo Antonio Zingarelli and Giovanni Paisiello. Musician Gioacchino Rossini lived for several years in Naples, where he wrote numerous compositions. Italian poet and writer Giacomo Leopardi established his home in Naples and Torre del Greco, remaining there at the end of his brief young life. He died at Naples in 1837. The first volcano observatory, the Vesuvius Observatory, was founded in Naples in 1841. Geologist Giuseppe Mercalli, born in Milan in 1850, was a director of the Vesuvius Observatory. In February 1851, British statesman William Ewart Gladstone was allowed to visit the prison where Giacomo Lakaita, legal advisor to the British Embassy, was imprisoned by the Neapolitan government, along with other political dissidents. He deplored their condition, and in April and July published two letters to the Earl of Aberdeen against the Neapolitan government, followed by an examination of the official reply of the Neapolitan government in 1852. His pamphlets may have contributed to the cause of the unification of Italy in 1861. French writer Alexandre Dumas, Per was directly involved in the process of the unification of Italy, and sojourned two or three years in Naples, where he wrote several historical novels regarding that city. He was also a known newspaper correspondent. Francesco de Sanctis, writer, politician and twice Minister of Instruction after the reunification of Italy in 1861, was born in Mora de Sanctis near Avellino. 
German scientist Anton Dorn founded in Naples the first public aquarium in the world and laboratory for the study of the sea, known as Maritime Zoological Station. The Astronomic Observatory of Capodimonte was founded by King Joachim Murat, in 1816. The observatory now hosts the Italian Laboratory of Astrophysics. Doctors and surgeons Antonio Cardarelli and Giuseppe Moscati were representatives of medical studies in Naples. Topic. Contemporary and modern arts The so-called «School of Pasilipo» and «School of Racina», dating from the late 19th to early 20th centuries, included painters such as Giacinto Giganti, Federico Cortes, Domenico Morelli, Severio Altamura, Giuseppe De Nittis, Vincenzo Gemito, Antonio Mancini, Raffaello Pagliacetti. Amongst the painters who inspired directly these schools, are Salvatore Rosa, Pierre-Jacques Antoine Volaire, Anton Smink van Pitlou who spent his last years in Naples. Opera singer Enrico Caruso was also a native of Naples. Russian revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin lived for a period in Capri. In the 20th century, the music genre called Neapolitan song became popular worldwide, with songs such as O Sol Mio, Funiculi, Funicula. O Serdato Namurato, Torna a Soriento, Guaparia, Santa Lucia, quote, comma, quote, Reginella, quote, comma, quote, Maricero, quote, comma, quote, Spingule Francesi. Mathematician Renato Cacciapoli, nephew of the Russian anarchic revolutionary Mikhail Bakunin, was born in Naples. The first president of the Italian Republic in 1946 with a pro-tempore mandate of six months was Enrico De Nicola from Torre del Greco. Campania is also home to the former prime minister and sixth president of the Republic Giovanni Leone, as well as the eleventh president, Giorgio Napolitano. The 20th century's best-known philosopher and literate in Naples was Benedetto Croce, famous for his studies in aesthetics, ethics, logic, economy, history, politics. Famous Neapolitan artists, actors, playwrights, and showmen were Eduardo de Filippo and Peppino de Filippo, and their sister Tatina de Filippo. Toto B name of Antonio de Curtis was one of the most important comedians in Naples in the 20th century. He is also known for the song, Mala Femina. Pop artist Andy Warhol created two famous paintings of the 1980 Irpinia earthquake, Fate Presto and Vesuvius. Both originals are hosted in the exhibit Tere Motus in the Palace of Caserta. Oscar-winning actress Sofia Loren grew up in Pozzuoli. Oscar and David-winning film producer Dino De Laurentiis was born in Torre Annunziata. One of his grandchildren is Food Network personality Giada De Laurentiis. Contemporary Campanian writers include Curzio Malaparte and Domenico Re. 20th and 21st century Campanian actors and directors include Francesco Rossi, Iaia Forte, Papi Corsicato, Teresa De Sio, Lello Arena, Massimo Troisi and director Gabriele Salvatores. Modern Italian singers and musicians from Campania include Peppino Di Capri, Renato Carasoni, Eduardo Benato, Eugenio Benato, Mario Marola, Sergio Bruni, Aurelio Fierro, Roberto Marolo, Tony Tamaro, Teresa De Sio, Eduardo De Crescenzo, Alan Sorrenti, Tony Esposito, Tullio De Piscopo, Massimo Ranieri, Pino Daniele, James Sinise and his group Napoli Centrale, Enzo Avitabel, Enzo Gragnaniello, Nino D'Angelo, Gigi D'Alessio, 99 Posse, Alma Magretta, Bisca, 24 Grana. Artists who directed movies about Naples or actors who played in movies in Campania, or interpreted Neapolitans onscreen, include Vittorio De Sica, Nanni Loi, Domenico Modugno, Renzo Arbore, Lina Wertmuller, Mario Lanza as Caruso, Clark Gable in It Started in Naples, Jack Lemmon in the movies Macaroni, which co starred Marcello Mastroianni, and Avanti. The International Giffoni Film Festival, established in 1971, is the first and most important festival for a young public. Topic. Sports Campania is home to several national football, water polo, volleyball, basketball and tennis clubs. The fencing school in Naples is the oldest in the country and the only school in Italy in which a swordsman can acquire the title. Master of Swords, which allows him or her to teach the art of fencing. 
the Circolo Savoia and Canottieri Napoli sailing clubs are among the oldest in Italy and are famous for their regattas. These are also home of the main water polo teams in the city. Many sailors from Naples and Campania participate as crew in the America's Cup sailing competition. Rowers Giuseppe Abagnale and Carmen Abagnale were born in Castellamare di Stabia, they were four times rowing world champions and Olympic gold medalists. The football teams in Campania include SSC Napoli playing in Serie A, and the only team in the south of Italy to have won the Serie A title Benevento Calcio playing in Serie A U.S. Avellino 1912 playing in Serie B U.S. Salernitana 1919 playing in Serie B Casertana FC playing in Serie C SS. Juve Stabia playing in Serie C Paganese Calcio 1926 playing in Serie C Topic. References Topic. External links Official website Campania Photo Gallery Map of Campania Vesuvius Observatory